With the presentation of their annual family Christmas card, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wish everyone a happy holiday scene. The Duke and Duchess thanked their supporters for all the support in 2023 and included an image of themselves cheering in the formal web greeting that their nonprofit organization, the Archowell Foundation, released. The elegant card was leaked mere hours after the prince was awarded £140,000 by the Mears publisher following the High Court's decision that he had been the victim of phone hacking. The duo can be seen grinning at the Invictus Games closing ceremony in Dusseldorf, Germany, in September. Prince Archie, age 4, and Princess Lilibet, age 2, were not included in the picture. It happens nearly a week after the royal family's official Christmas card release. The coronation photo from Buckingham Palace was selected by the king and queen to be the centerpiece of their holiday card, which they sent to their acquaintances, relatives, and co-workers. William and Kate, meanwhile, shared a casual black and white picture. Alongside their sons Prince George, 10, Prince Louis, 5, and Princess Charlotte, 8, who was seated in a chair at the front of the group, the couple was seen grinning at the camera. Each of the three guys is dressed in an identical pair of black pants and a simple shirt. George is wearing a Ralph Lauren polo top, while Kate and Charlotte have switched the pants for denim ones. The Duchess is wearing a dark green dress with her hair pulled up in a bun in the upbeat picture that Harry and Meghan shared today, while her husband is dressed in a black suit without a tie. The note said, we wish you a very happy holiday season on behalf of the office of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Archowell Productions, and Archowell Foundation. I appreciate all of your help in 2023. A highlight film featuring some of the Sussex's most memorable events from the previous year was included. The California-based royal family has made it a practice to release a holiday card. They selected a black and white shock from their attendance at the Robert Teff, Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award Banquet in New York City from the previous year. Wishing you a joyful holiday season, read the card from 2010. We wish you health, peace, and a very happy new year from our family to yours, as well as from the teams at the Archowell Foundation, Archowell Audio, and Archowell Productions. But in 2021, a more family-focused card featuring the couple and their two young kids was made public. The four joyful members of the family were spotted holding up baby Lilibet while sporting polo necks and matching jeans to Meghan. The couple's annual Archwell Foundational Impact Report, which was unveiled earlier this week along with a stylish film showcasing some of their charity activities, was also included on this year's digital card. The minute-long video highlighted individuals and causes that their charity has supported in 2023. In the video, they could be seen hugging veterans, packing bags for Nigerian schoolgirls, and snapping photographs with a large number of fans. It happened shortly after the Princess of Wales posted a video of herself with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis at a baby bang. While the Sussexes have shared videos such to this in the past, it is often not released until January, so it may have caused some eyebrows to raise in certain royal circles. Along with the release of the card and video, Brand experts have been warning of Brand Sussex's doom due to the impact from Omid Scobbies and Game. The book, which was written with poison, disparaged the royal family, citing Kate and King Charles as having expressed concern over Prince Archie's skin tone prior to his birth. The Duchess recently signed with Ari Emanuel, a super agent at William Morris Endeavor, WME whose other clients include Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Serena Williams, a friend of Meghan's. Nevertheless, the agency is apparently reconsidering, as experts are of the opinion that her association with Scobby's most recent book may make her too hot to handle. And Gay might be as harmful to her career as her husband's memoir, Spare, was to Prince Harry, according to brand and culture expert Nick Eade. He said her agents in Los Angeles will be concerned that she has tarnished her reputation and could potentially damage the reputation of her agency. The duo seemed to be trying to project a hands-on, international player image through the video. It shows video from Meghan's visit to the Fisher House Foundation in Los Angeles, calls to entrepreneurs made by the couple, their trips to the Marcy Lab School in Brooklyn throughout 2023 and their trips to New York to speak at mental health summits.
In a different video, workers are shown restoring a playground in Uvalde, Texas, in the wake of a 2022 massacre that claimed 21 lives, 19 of whom were chillin'. A third from August included Harry and Meghan phoning young business owners to inform them that their projects have been awarded a portion of $2 million in award. Shiny footage also features a glammed-up Meghan introducing a panel discussion at the World Mental Health Day Festival. This was the Archer Well Foundation's first ever in-person time.